Hey, what's up guys? DJ Lefave here with another tutorial. This one is for virtual DJ remote DJ broadcasting and recording with one or more DJs using a video chat app such as Skype or Zoom. It's all about the signal flow. You've got a host and you've got a remote DJ. So we're going to call the host one the local DJ and then you have a remote DJ. So on the left hand side, I want you to look at the bottom bottom of this slide first. OK, you've got your virtual DJ on the left. That is your your host DJ. Their job is to they're going to send their mic and music to the video chat app. And they're also then going to receive the output from the remote DJ. The remote DJ is going to receive the output as input from the host DJ. And then they are going to send their stuff as an output. Finally, the host DJ can broadcast or record using the native VDJ functionality. And the end result, remote viewers having a kick-ass time listening to multiple DJs mixing on the same stream. Here's your prerequisites. You got to have a microphone, VDJ Pro 2020, Pro Skin is what I use, and I use four decks in this tutorial two virtual audio cables uh, for each DJ and the video chat app of your choice. You can get your virtual audio cables at vb-audio.com slash cable. It's donationware, pay as little, pay as much as you want. They're really awesome tools to have. Here's some popular video chat audio video settings menus. So on Skype on the left, you've got uh, microphone and speakers. Those are going to come in very important in a little bit. And on the right is Zoom. You have speaker and microphone and you can make your own selections there. Very important stuff right there. So here we go. Host VDJ settings. You've got to set up your outputs. You got to set up your inputs. I put an example on the right of how I have mine currently set up. You have master output for the broadcast. I think you need that. I'm not sure. I, I just have that one in there and it worked on my test last night. Headphones for local monitoring, deck two, deck three, deck four. Deck two for me is the host mic output. Deck three is for music, deck four is for music. So you're gonna mix on three and four. Inputs, line in one is the host mic input. Line in two is the remote DJ input. All right, you see that on the right hand side of the picture, deck two three and four are outputting to the same virtual audio cable essentially what uh, virtual dj is going to do right here is they are mixing down those three decks into one cable very important for your host vdj settings the output on the same local the same virtual audio cable like i just said deck two three and four deck two is the host mic output deck three is music deck four is music Input assigned to deck two with a custom button. So in order to uh, have your mic sound, you have to assign it to a custom button. I have a video up on, on YouTube right now. I'll link it in the, uh, in, the, in the details here in the description of how you can get your host mic input with a custom button. In the video tab, this should be one of the final steps. Make sure you enable the headphones for monitoring on decks one, three, and four. Deck one is going to be um, the the uh, the remote DJ their sound, and decks three and four are going to be your music mix. Your host video chat settings, the microphone, aka this is what you were going to be sending to the remote DJ. Set it for your first virtual audio cable. Speakers is what the remote DJ is sending to you. Use the other virtual audio cable. Remote DJ video settings, just do it in the opposite. Uh, what they're going to send to the host DJ and speakers is what the remote DJ is sending to the host. Then it's time to broadcast. Use the native virtual DJ broadcast feature to stream or record on the set. Pro tip, use the screen grab feature to include the video of the remote DJ in your broadcast. So just bring it back up here to the, um, and, and that's, I guess that's it. Yeah.